Hello guys, this is Tom. Today I will show you how to how to use and navigate the browser interface for the Ecvision and the Ecvision OEM DVR. They pretty much the same. And uh, this is the Internet Explorer. Most uh, in most cases, I like to use the Internet the Internet Explorer on Windows 10 because it's hidden in the back. It's usually not being used for any other users. So it can be dedicated just for the camera system. Also, the camera system when it's working in the background, it's taking a lot of resources, so it's better if it's working on its own browser. So to find the Internet Explorer icon on Windows 10, you're gonna go to the search bar, just at the bottom left corner on Windows 10, and you will see iExplorer. Now make sure you're working on Internet Explorer and not on Microsoft Edge. It looks similar, but the plugin will not work on Microsoft Edge. Now the first part of this video will be to explain to you what to do on first time run and plugin installation. And the second part of this video will be how to use how to use the interface after you install the plugin. So once you run Internet Explorer, the technician will provide you IP address, the IP address of the DVR. Now the IP address can be either numbers or can be a dynamic DNS domain. In this case, it's just to the local IP address of the DVR. Okay. This one really will provide you username and password. So first time you open the you open the browser, if it's a new computer that you never run the plugin before, you will have this message that you need to install the plugin. So you're just going to click on this link and you will click on run. You don't need to do any other changes. You might get the security notice. Just click on yes. And they recommend to close the browser. Okay, so the installation is done. I'm going to go finish. After the installation is done, you can put your login information again. And first time installation, you want to go to configuration, local, and you want to change the screen type. You want to make sure it's on sub. By default, it will be on mainstream. Change it to substream. And if you want the camera to come automatically when after you log in, you want to change to auto start live view to yes. Other option you you might like to change is the default location. The program is save recording if you save snapshot or if you download any videos. So I just like to use the desktop. It's easy to access. And you just click on save. Next time you turn on, you log in, your camera should come up automatically. Now, they will come up automatically on low quality. Why low quality? So the browser will take less resources. If all the cameras running on high quality, you want to make sure your computer is strong enough to handle all this HD quality at the same time from all the cameras. So this is the camera in low quality. And if you want to change the camera to high quality, you just click on the specific camera you want to change. You go to the left side, click on this small icon when it said two. Substream, it means the second stream, low quality stream. Mainstream is the main HD full quality stream. So if you click on, on the mainstream, we're getting the camera in full quality. So you see, you can actually read license plate and you can get much more details. The second camera is still on low quality. Now, if you want to change all the camera's quality, you will go down here, screen type, and you can change all the cameras together. Okay, another useful icon is the division icon. Click on this icon, it gives you a different way to divide the screen. So you can do 16 camera split, 
Eight camera, four camera, two single camera. Double click, we're just gonna bring the camera that you wanna watch. Okay, second thing we're gonna work, I want to like, like, I like to show you the playback. So on the top, you can navigate between the live view and the playback. Now the playback interface is very simple. First thing, you're just gonna choose the camera that you wanna watch. So in this case, we're gonna watch, we're gonna click on the front camera, double click on the camera you want to watch. You will need to wait a few seconds until the camera will be highlighted in red. And then you will get on the other side of the screen, the calendar. And you will see this small red arrow next to each day that you actually have recording. In this case, I have a few months of recording. So I can choose every day. So let's say like May 15. So I'll click on 15. And I will click on search. After I click on search, the timeline will be updated only with the event that I have motion on this specific camera. So each small line you see here, it's time that I actually had motion in the front of the camera. And then I can scroll to the time that I want to watch. For example, if I see something happen at 4 a.m., it might be a bug, it might be something small, and I will press on the play button. The camera will stop automatically this time. And I see it was just a car that was driving by this time. Double click again or the scale button will take me of the full screen. If you want to see the camera in single camera division, just go to the division type and just change it to one view. Now you can stop the camera and you can go to the next event, to the previous event. You just scroll wherever you want. Okay, now if you want to save a snapshot, just stop the video, you have the snapshot capture button. And in my case, it will save the picture on the desktop. If you want to download the video, the video event, you're going to click on the download button. You're going to select the camera that you want to, that you want to back up. The event type, in this case it's motion and the stream type if you want to back up on full, full quality so you need it on main, main stream by default it will show you the same day the exact the same day that you viewing the last event so this is may 15 and it will show you the event for 24 hours for this day so the last video that we, that we view was 2 a.m Okay, so this video is May 15, 2 and 5 minutes. So it's a nice video. And click on download. You can see the progress here. And download complete the file being saved to the same folder that we selected in in the setting, which in my case again it's a desktop. Take this second close this icon. The configuration type is just the system configuration. We recommend you not to use the, not to change any configuration without consulting with us first. That's it. Let us know if you have any questions. You can always email us or call us. Thank you very much for watching.